Welcome to today's video. I will show you guys an easy comp to rank up without being heavily contested. The most important units of our comp are Karthus and Akali. This comp right now is being used by many top tier players to rank up. In this particular match, I got the multi-talented portal, which will let our headliner share plus one extra trait. For the first augment, I took stars are born. That way I can have a strong early board. Now, onto the key elements of this build, the specific items that are crucial for our champion. On Mordekaiser, go with Titan's Resolve, Bloodthirster and Crown Guard. For Karthus, go with the Jeweled Gauntlet and Spear of Shojin. And for Akali, you have to make Bloodthirster and Titan's Resolve. This comp uses a unique technique, which makes it stronger. We will discuss it later in the video. You have to play around Superfans or Pentakill in the early game, where you can play Olaf as our item holder for Mordekaiser and other Superfans units like Kennen, Lilia, and Nar, and try to activate at least 3 Superfans or 3 Pentakill. As this is a fast level 8 comp, you need to maintain a good economy throughout the match, because you will be targeting the 4 cost units. For my second augment, I choose Hologram. It's a new augment in set 10, which will make a copy of our headliner champion, but we can't equip any items on it. In the mid game, you have to play around KDA champions as well, as it is very crucial, so you will be playing Seraphine and Nico. Use Seraphine as the item holder for Karthus. So, in the late game, once we get our champions, we can transition smoothly. As it is a very strong comp, the game continued and it was easy for me to maintain my health and economy. On stage 3 to 6, I got the Mordekaiser, so I sold Olaf and transferred the items. The main synergy of this build is to have 5 pentakill and 4 superfans activated. From the carousel rounds always try to pick the desired champions and items only. For my last and final augment, I took the big grab bag. At stage 4 to 2, I got Karthus, so I instantly sold Seraphine as she was the item holder. Now, from this point my goal was to itemize my champions, and slow roll for 2 star 4 costs. At stage 4 to 6, I level up to 8 and completed my board. Now about the unique technique, which makes this board stronger. Karthus and Akali are a really good duo comp, as Karthus' cast makes the backline champions weak and Akali's ultimate finishes them off as she directly dashes into the backline. I didn't get Mordekaiser as my headliner champion, so I used Vigo instead thus it activated all my synergies. Now let's enjoy the gameplay. I highly recommend you guys to try it out for yourselves. Remember to subscribe to our channel, Item Swap, so you never miss out on our latest videos and exciting content. Thank you for watching, and until next time, happy gaming!